So we're on our way to Burke Center Festival, which is a local festival that I will be exhibiting at. I feel like this is the biggest, best like exhibition I've ever done because we had to set up our tent last night and I didn't get footage of that because um, I needed Remy's help and we had to wait until Remy got off work so it was like dark most of the time um, but you'll be sure to see all our hard work from last night and I'm super excited because there's gonna be like games and animals there and it's like this outside outdoor festival family fun kind of event so this is the look for today i'm in my uniform remy's wearing the skinny hoodie looks great <laughs> all right see you guys there Welcome, welcome, welcome to my pink, magical, whimsical, stellar, hypnotizing booth. I was at the front on a corner right at the entrance, so we hung the Magic Cats tapestry there to draw people in, to draw them into my magical world, my pink bubbly world. And of course, there's Remy yet again, the most wonderful art assistant helper, gathering some prints and original paintings to hang on the wall. I really learned from the last convention of the hypnotizing effect that takes place when you hang up your prints for people to stop and look at like a gallery. It really captures their attention. And boy, did I witness that in action. There were geeks, there were nerds and cartoon fans that were drawn to my tent there was all ages and all gender expressions and I love the people who kept returning and keeping me company so many families were experiencing what my friend called the book fair effect where a child would be hypnotized and dazzled by the colorful world of Ilea Stara and grab their parents hand and just pull and come running across the field across the hill and people just were absolutely in awe with the whole setup. They love to take photos with the Cine plushie and the Believe in Magic painting, as well as with me. And it really just captivated so many people. I got to meet so many people. And this has been my biggest setup yet. I was so proud of it. Could not have done it without Remy. Had to get that pink booth and boy, did it stand out. So here I want to go ahead and show you some rest of the festival. While I share some B-roll of the different vendors and activities and food and fun at this family festival, I wanted to tell a story with you all because unfortunately I wasn't able to get a photo of this moment, but it was my absolute favorite. So my booth was looking at a hill and all of a sudden I see this clown woman come marching over the hill like she is on a mission she's in the full makeup the full hair the full colorful clothes and the big clown shoes and Remy was on a break because they were going to on a mission to go get us lunch so I was at my booth by myself and she is just marching like she is on a mission right at my booth and I can tell she's coming right for me and she does not hesitate does not stop marches all the way up to me phone in hand and she's about five feet and I'm five foot five so shorter than me and she was like do you know what I'm here for and I was like a photo because she had her phone and she was like yes and then she just took her camera like handed it to a customer who was in my tent and was like can you take a photo of us we posed 
for a photo. She got her photo and she's like, are you going to be here tomorrow? And I was like, yes, because originally it was a two-day event, but we got rained out the second day, unfortunately. And then she got her photo and she marched right back over that hill because she had a job to do. She had kids to entertain as her clown persona. And I was just so gobsmacked by that moment i loved it so much i was like dang it i should have got a photo <laughs> but it just happened so quickly i loved it and i loved her <laughs> mysterious clown woman you made my day final thoughts and wrap up <laughs> on the couch the event was canceled today so we gotta just go and pick up our stuff, pack up. I'm a little sad because it was so incredible. It was a great event. It was a massive success yesterday. It was like my biggest setup ever with all the prints and all the stuff. So super grateful for everyone who stopped by yesterday. Kristen and Phil and Brittany, thank you for your support. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you, David, for helping us pack up and for Kareem hanging out after as well. I was super happy that people got to see me in my element. I was in my uniform, my full witch glamour. Yeah, what I really learned about that, like it all kind of works together. And because people, why are they buying your art? They want to support you. Like why wouldn't they just go to the dollar store and buy stickers? Why are they going to buy your stickers? And it's because art is like a piece of your spirit. It's a piece of your soul that you channel into something, whether it's an illustration or like my friend Maria, who does puppetry, she channels her spirit into the puppets. It's a token of you and they're gonna buy it because they wanna take a piece of your spirit home with them. Like some people would just be so enamored by my booth or my makeup or my, outfit and then they would look at my stuff and they try to figure out what to buy because like at that point they're like I'm sold I don't know what I'm buying but I'm gonna find something to buy and you want people who take that time to find something to buy because people ain't got time so if someone's giving you that time that's incredible because there's like 50 or 100 other booths that they could go shop at so you gotta like whatever you can do to just like start, catch their eye, give them a friendly interaction and like take the photos with them if you're not shy. I, I'm not shy in that way. Um, so take, I was taking so many photos with kids with the cine plushie and the painting and our little photo op station. And so these are the things to keep in mind is like, how can you, as I said, how to, can you make an experience? We did a raffle as well yesterday. Like every purchase of a book was one entry into the raffle. And it was a Magical Girl tote bag, a mystery pack, and Magic Hat stickers. And so that was super incredible too. Like, cause it's like making it an experience. It's a fair. So I thought doing a raffle would be fun because it's like a game, right? It's an entry. It's, there's a prize to be won. And, so it was just a great experience and then last night we celebrated with friends afterwards because we also got engaged last weekend so it was great to celebrate with friends after and do some karaoke and things like that creating memories together it was awesome so <laughs> till next time stay magical